y'all. It's Pam at Pink Dragonfly Wings, and we are here back on track with our videos. I know I missed a couple of videos. Um, I've had a had a rough couple of weeks here lately, but I think we're back on track. Um, I, those of you that kind of follow me know that I suffer with pretty severe depression, and uh, things have just hit... Uh, hit me pretty hard lately and we're trying to trying to do and get back on track uh, my mom is with me for right now and it it has made a definite change in our life uh, my mom has Alzheimer's and uh, is not able to live by herself any longer so um, she's now living with me she has been with my brother, or actually my brother's been with her in her room, uh, or in her home, but um, she's not able to stay by herself, and my brother uh, fell and broke his hip, and so he is recuperating, and he's not able to take care of her, and she's not able to take care of him, and uh, so it's just kind of been um, a mess, but everybody is fine. My brother is out of the hospital. He is healing. He is getting better. My mom is here with me. She wants to be at home, but she's okay with being here with me. And so things are things are getting better. So here we go. But anyway, so today we are going to make this little staggered pocket. And it is designed to glue into your page. It is not a flip out or a fold out or a slip in or a clip in or a whatever. We're going to glue it down onto our page. And so I didn't worry too much about what the back looks like. Okay, because it's really unimportant. So what we're going to do, and y'all know, y'all know I don't measure. I don't, I, I, measuring and math is not, not my forte. I just, don't do it very well, so there we go. So I made myself a template. So here's my pocket templates, and here are my tag templates, and we are ready to go. So what we're going to do, I'm going to set this aside over here, and I use these pages. Now I've already cut these down. I needed them to be seven and a half inches long, so that's Right now, all I'm worried about is how long are they. We'll worry about how they are along the way as we go. But I did want to show you, this is how the pages started out. They started out six inches wide by about nine and a quarter, a little more. Um, and I just, they're just random book pages. I did try to get some that have lots of writing and not spaces like this, just because I don't like that as much. And so I just got that one to show you. And this is what we're going to make our tags out of. So, so we have a, a little pocket here. I think I have plenty. One, two, four, five. Yes, we have five. So what we're going to do is we're going to start these, and we're going to, I'm going to just kind of roughly fold them in the center just for a second because I want to make our little thumb notches before we get started. So I, this way they will all be in the same general area. So we're going to put those about like that. So all five of them will have their little notch. And we'll take our first page Let's see if we can find one that's relatively straight. This one looks to be about as straight as all of them, so we'll do that one. Before we get started and start folding, though, I think I am going to um, ink the top of this. Uh, just because it's a little easier to, to ink around this notch hole, um, thumb hole before I fold it together into a tube. So I'm going to put that over there. Now we're going to take our pockets, our pocket templates, and we are going to put this one right here. 
and we are going to fold this over. We're going to pretty well fold it over. Take that out and we'll fold it just slightly a little more simply because this cardstock is, is thick. It's pretty thick. And when you stick it in here, that's, that little space right there, even though you don't think it's very much, can make a difference. So I put it in there, get where I need to fold it, and then fold it down. Except I'm going to fold it this direction. And then we're going to put this right up against the edge. I want it right up against the edge because I want this pocket to be three inches. So we'll fold this up, crease it ever so slightly in, very slightly. And if we're lucky, it's going to be pretty close. So let's see if we're lucky. And we're just pretty lucky. That is exactly three inches. So that's what we want it to be. So what we're going to do, because this one just barely fits, there's no glue room. We can't glue it. So I'm going to use some washi tape. And I am going to run just a little bit on the inside here. Right down the edge. Just a little bit. It doesn't have to be a whole lot because it's only going to be half of the piece of washi tape on here. And we're going to very carefully try as best we can to make this about halfway down. More or less. We're just going to glue that right there. We will pick this up. Probably would have been better to do that on the glass table because it doesn't stick to the glass table very much. I'm going to fold this in. We're going to put just a little sliver of glue down on the inside of this side of the pocket and fold it over to match our washi tape. Okay, so now we have washi tape covering the inside. We're going to take the washi tape and continue. Let's put a little glue on it. All we're doing is just trying to close up the raw edges because as we put our tag in and out of this pocket over time, um, it's going to wear that paper down and it'll frazzle and make a mess, fall apart. So this keeps the frayed edges of this together. Pick this up here and we'll just trim that off right at the bottom. And so we have our first little pocket. We're done with this for now. We have our first little pocket here. Three by seven and a half. First one done. Now we'll get one of these others. It doesn't really matter which one. And we're going to get our we've done pocket number one. We're going to get pocket number two, and we are going to do the same thing. We're going to put this up here so that our thumb notch here is still in the same spot. Make sure, don't really think it matters on this page which way it goes. So we're going to do it like this, and we're going to fold this down just like we did on the other one, and we're going to fold it in ever so slightly. Put this back on here, right up to the edge, and fold this one in. Okay. And this one is going to fold over a little bit because it's a little narrower. And so we're not going to have to put the washi tape on here because we actually have some glue spots. Now I'm going to put the smooth edge first so that that's the edge that will catch on our pockets, I mean our tags as we go down. Alright, so let's ink up the top of this one and just ink around here. We're going to get this one and 
put some glue right down here on the side. And glue this side down. And there we go. So now we have our second pocket. It's a little narrower. And we're going to scoot it down a little bit. Now, if you wanted all of these pockets to be the same, you could go ahead and put washi tape in here. That's not a big deal to me because it's going to have the tags in it when we get finished. So that'll be fine. So we have now done pocket two. So we'll start with now pocket three. And those are the same, so it doesn't make any difference. We're going to, once again, put our pocket template up here, fold it over, fold it in just slightly to accommodate the thickness of the cardstock. I'm going to put this back down here. Just You don't have to do this. This is something I have to do just simply because... I don't do very good with math. Okay. And there is going to be our second one. I think that matters. Let's make sure that this one is a little smaller than that one. And it is. So we're going to, before we glue it, we're going to ink around the top of this. Turn this over, put the smooth side on the inside, and put just a little bit of glue down the edge of this. Fold it over, and there we go. Smooth it out, and we have our third pocket. Okay. Now then, we'll do our second pocket, and I, this is these are the ones. These are pretty small, so I think I can probably get those out of the same one here. We'll see. All right, so we've got one, two, three, and four. I'm going to put this one right here. This is four. And we're going to fold it in. Not going to worry about too much folding it all the way down because it is going to be folded in a little more, so. No, nope, that does have a little bit of a thing up there, so we're going to fold it in this direction. Just so that this doesn't show up the top, we'll have full text. And that's just a personal preference for me, so. Let's make sure we have our little pocket thing here. that right in there. Make sure that is going to be a little smaller than it is. So let's ink the top all the way around. Smooth side in, a little bit more glue on the outside so we can fold our little section in. Okay, now this one I'm going to cut off a little bit. Let's just cut it about in half. Yeah, do a little more than half. And I probably shouldn't have glued that because now I need to make another nubbin. We can do it on this one. Just don't do it with the glue side down. That might help ever so slightly. And then we can put our, our other nubbin thing there. Except it would be nice if we made it the same size, wouldn't it? We can come down a little bit more. There we go. All right. Woohoo! So we're going to ink up the top of this one. And 
let's get our four pocket make sure we've got it down as much as we needed it and that's going to work okay but when I redid that I didn't really get my I'm going to pull you over a little bit because I didn't get my thumb notch centered and we're going to pull you back over this direction just a little bit and that's better that is much better but we may need a little more glue a little more glue on here just because and make sure we're narrower and we are so we have four pockets and then was this the no I just put that that's now a four pocket. Here's our little pocket. Yeah, here we go. So we're going to have to undo you like we did the other one. Except now I've glued you together. Well, poo. All right. No biggie. We're going to put you on this one. Very good. This one is pretty small, so let's make sure our paper, our text is really good on our paper. Okay. And then we'll put this one on here. And fold you and fold you back direction and you're just going to be a little ditty shorty and you probably need to come in a little bit more just because we we'll probably have to cut this side down just a little bit we'll save that for another project That's going to work just fine. Okay. We're going to put our smooth side in. And glue. And I forgot to ink it. <laughs> I tell you, this last one is just going to send me over the edge. Tried to save a book page. That's all I tried to do. So we'll fold you in a little bit. Fold you in. Hold you over. See how you do. Eh, not very little. We can actually fold you in just a little bit more. If we can get you unglued, we can actually fold you in just a little bit more on that side. like that better, but let's cut this down. Yeah, let's just cut that down a little bit because I don't want it interfering. It doesn't matter what it looks like on the back. We can just trim it down. And there we go. Now then, okay, here's the tricky part. We are going to take these and we're going to glue them in. And on my very first pocket here, I put these little marks. 
So we have these little marks where these pockets are going to go. There's one and a half inches between each one. So if you're making it, your deal is seven and a half inches long. You go up one and a half, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. Okay. So I'm going to lay this right here. Let's put it on this side so I can see it a little bit better. We're going to take pocket number two, and we are going to ink the rest of them. Let's ink this. Let's just go ahead and ink this to the sides. Before I forget to do that, because that would not be a cool thing. So we'll just ink these really quickly. We're not going to worry about the bottoms yet because the bottoms are going to be cut off. We're just going to ink, 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 and ink, 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 and then we'll do these. These are already cut a little bit, so, uh, because we cut them so we could save that piece of paper there, and then we didn't get to save it after all, so, okay. So, we're going to take our second pocket, and we are going to glue all of it, all of the back of the pocket, all of it, all the way down, about an inch and a half up. Probably would have been better to, to uh, ink this, but we didn't. And so we have here, and here is about an inch and a half, and we are going to put that there and ink it up. Okay, now then I'm going to ink this last pocket here so you can see the edge of it. And you can see that it lays in a little bit. So now we have this one, and then we have a little space here on each side. We're going to get the third pocket, and we're going to close it in. We're going to get our template here and give us another inch and a half about right here. Gonna ink, even it up so we make sure we're. That's the good thing about this um, this tape, this glue, is that it does give you a little bit of time to move it around. Okay, let's get our fourth one. another inch and a half to about right here and not right there that's the next one we're going to put it about right here moving it in just a little bit okay. so now each one of these is made a quarter of an inch narrower than the one before, the one on top. Um, let's cut this one a little so we know where, well we don't really have to, it's not going to make that much difference. Let's just put some glue on the back of it, do it like we've done the others. Put our pocket here, and there is our last one. Didn't. Let's see if I can raise that up. I didn't ink this little top thing right here or this little top thing right here. Okay, there we go. We have our pockets. One, two, three, four, five. And this is what it looks like. It's 
all staggered at the bottom. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn it over and we're going to cut it even with the first tag. The first tag is the biggest, the longest. So we're going to cut all that off. And there's our tag. Cool, huh? Very cool. There we go. All right, and I'm going to give you these these dimensions of these these pockets um, at the end. So I will hopefully not forget to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and do it now. These are the pockets. The pockets. The first pocket on the bottom is three inches wide by seven and a half inches long. That's the long pocket. Three by seven and a half. The second pocket in a quarter of an inch, so it's in. This one is two and three quarter inches by six inches. We're scooting up an inch and a half. So two and three quarter inches by six inches. That's the second pocket. The third pocket is two and a half, another quarter of an inch smaller, two and a half by four and a half. Okay, so you could go ahead and cut all of these at the same time and just make them fit this, but I measure so poorly that I like having them all lined up and I can cut them all off and I know they're all the same length. Because I guarantee you if I measured all of these pieces of paper, they would not be correct when I got done. That's just me. You do it how you want to. Our fourth pocket is two and a quarter inches by three inches. So you are moving in a quarter of an inch each time. That would give you an eighth of an inch on each side and an inch and a half shorter down here. And our last pocket, our little one, is two inches by one and a half inches. And that's how they fit together. Okay, so they're going to be like that, but they're staggered. So we're going to keep this because, who knows, someday we may want to make another one of these. And I know somewhere I had a paper clip, but I guess I have eaten that. So there we go. All right, so we have our, po our, our pocket made. Let's go ahead and put just a little bit of ink across the top of that. And you can decorate. You can put some ink on all of this if you want. Grunge it up a little bit. That's fine. Now, our bottoms are still open. Don't forget, our bottoms are still open. So, if you put tags in there right now, let's say we put a tag in here, it's just going to slide right on out the bottom. There it goes, because they're open. They're open. We're going to fix that. And the reason that I chose to fix it this way is because I wanted this piece of washi tape to blend in with the piece of washi tape at the bottom. That's just my preference. Uh, it, it isn't required. It isn't important. It's no big deal. And I've lost. How do you lose? The lid to your ink. There it is. Let's put that over there. We'll need it again in a minute. And get our washi tape, and we're just going to pull a little piece off. We're going to put a little narrow all the way across here. All the way across here. We're not going to glue inside the pockets. We're going to glue the washi tape on the pocket. So we're going to put it down here like this, hold it for just a minute, that's more or less half, pick this up, we can cut this off, don't need it anymore. Turn this over and we're going to put another little bead of glue right here at the bottom. And the reason for doing it this way is if you glue, if you glue in the bottom, 
in the bottom of your pocket, then you are going to have glue space taken. You're going to have the bottom of your pocket is going to be have glue in it. And that means that either your tag can get stuck in it or your tag's not going to be the right size or whatever. So we're just going to just do it like this and clip this off at the side. So we have a nice little, this piece of washi tape matches this one up here. So if you wanted to put them all down here, you could certainly do that and it would make it a little more even, a little more blendy. So, but let's make our tags. Here is, uh, we're done with our pockets and I found my paper clip over here. I did not eat it after all. Now, there we go. So I'm going to put all of these on here and we're going to get our tags. And these are really just for measurement's sake. Put this over here for just a minute. We're going to get our piece of paper. Now this was, um, I think it was 9 by, 9 by 12. It was 8 by 12. Let's see. Seven and a half. No, it was 9 by 12. 9 by 12 and I cut it down. And we're going to, and mainly I cut it, I went ahead and cut it down because a bigger piece won't fit in my little bitty cutter here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our first tag seven and a half inches. No biggie deal. No biggie deal. This is cut at seven and a half inches. And it needs to be two and three quarter inches because it needs to fit in our three inch pocket. So it's got to be a little smaller. Okay. So we're going to take it down and we're going to make it two and three quarters inch. And that's our first tag. And hopefully it will fit right there. And I made it and measured it go right down even to the tops of the, the little pockets. Just because I liked that look. Now if you wanted to tape a, a pull tab or a piece of sorry silk or something on there you could certainly do that but I didn't want that for this particular one I have in mind where I'm going to put these and so that wasn't the look I was going for so there we go our second tag is two and a half of course we're going down a quarter of an inch each time just like we did on the pockets except with the pockets we started at three inches on the tags we're starting at two and three quarter inches so this one is going to be two and a half and it is going to be six inches long and I saved these little pieces that I cut off here because they make perfect tags for other little pockets so I keep those so we have our second one, two and a half by six, fits in our second pocket, hopefully. Right down to the top. Get our paper. We have our third tag. Okay, here's our third tag. I'm going down another quarter of an inch, so this one's going to be two and a fourth. Two and a fourth. And it is only going to be four and a half inches long. So we have four and a half. And we have a nice size tag to save for later. Already cut. So we have two and a quarter by four and a half. Right down in there. Okay. Get our fourth tag. And this one we will cut at two inches by three inches. So we're going to have two inches here. We're going to save this little piece. We're going to cut this three inches. We have 
have this little piece left. This one's going to fit right in here. Then our last little tag is a little bitty one, and it's only one and three quarters inch by one and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the one and a half because this is a good size for this tag. So this makes a good little tag. And then we'll turn it and we'll cut it a quarter of an inch smaller. So it's going to be one and three quarters inches. Put that back down there. It's a cute little square and it can go right there. Now you could also put tack, tick, uh, the little tickets down in there. That would be cool. But this is a pretty clean, simple look. You don't have the, the ribbons hanging out of it and all of that kind of stuff. And then you can kind of decorate it how you see fit. This one has a couple of words on it, a number, and a couple of little pretty, pretty tag things on it. So I wanted them to be very simple for the journal that I'm using them in. Now, I have room on here that I can always come back and add if I wanted to put a little piece of lace here or something else I can certainly do that but I'm going to not put words and things on this one this is the the construction of the of the pocket and I'm going to leave it then when I get ready to put it in my little journal <clears throat> then we have a piece of paper here this is a page in our journal and we can glue this down right here now, if you wanted to, you could put this down to the bottom, cut you another tag, and put it behind here, and just glue on three sides, okay? Just so, if you want to. I think five little tags is plenty, and I like having the space at the top and at the bottom, so I'm not going to put this down as another tag pocket back here. Uh, I'm going to leave it, and then it will fit just like that in our journal. So there we go. We have a one, two, three, four, five tag pocket. And it's staggered, and it's kind of kind of different looking, and you can decorate it kind of however you would like to do. So there we go, and it's relatively quick to make. This would be super, super cool to make as a mass make. You can make all of these, then make all of these, then make all of these, make all of these, make all of these, and put them together, and you've got 10 or 15 little pockets already made. You don't have to decorate them. You can wait and decorate them when you make the journal so that it can match the journal. And so I, I, I do lots of that in my mass making stuff. I, I don't do the decorations or the embellishments until I get ready to use it in the journal because... I might use this in a journal that's going to be predominantly green, uh, a forest theme, and I have some of those kinds of embellishments that I'd like to put on this. This one may go in uh, something else. And so when you decorate it at the finish, if you're doing it for your stash, then putting colors and embellishments on it at that point limits you to what you can use it you know so if i put animals and things on here i wouldn't necessarily want to use it in a i don't know a shabby chic type journal so i'm going to hold off on that let that uh, come as it will and uh, there we go so we've got two little pockets made and we have our measurements now like i said our tags are one quarter of an inch smaller than the pocket size, and but they're the same length as the pocket. So our first tag is two and three quarters by seven and a half inches. The second tag is two and a half inches, quarter inch smaller by six inches, an inch and a half shorter. Tag three is two and a quarter inches by four and a half inches. Tag four is two inches by three inches. 
and little tag 5 is 1 and 3 quarters by 1 and 1 half inch. And if you wanted to, you could put tags or you could put other kinds of things in there. Or you could put other tags in there if you don't want to make your own tags and you have some already made that will fit in here. Use those. Use what you have and use what you like. So anyway, there's our project for today. I hope you had great fun making it with me. I hope you will make one on your own. If you do, please put some pictures in the comment section. Let me see what you're doing. I learn from other people the same way you learn. And I like seeing new ideas and new, new things to, to do. So share your comments, share your pictures. And uh, if you get a chance, stop by my online store. It's at www.pinkdragonflywings with a Z on the end, dot com. See what we have in there. And uh, we have all kinds of cool stuff in there. So just go check it out and see what you think. And uh, if you like the video today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. We really need subscribers. <laughs> I'm trying to grow my channel and get a little bigger, so I need your help. Uh, so, subscribe if you haven't. Share this with friends, family, anybody you know. And uh, until next time, you be creative. Bye-bye.